Meet Terry Fox. So, who is Terry Fox? <laughs> no, he's not the legendary Canadian hero who ran for cancer in the 1970s. He used to be the reverend of the Emmanuel Baptist Church in Wichita, in Kansas. Hence, he believes, of course, in a recent six-day creation, and thus also believes that the earth was made 6,000 years ago by the biblical God. He also thinks that the United States are part of the divine plan of his deity, <laughs> though in 2006 he resigned from office after being accused of using church money to found his own radio program. Anyway, he appeared in the German documentary Mit Gott gegen Darwin, that's with God against Darwin. Like said, this is a German documentary, so whatever this guy is saying is translated. Lacking the means, I am not able to filter out the translations, so just bear with it. I'll explain what this guy is getting at after the audio. And I love to, to say this to the secularists and to the liberals. It's interesting that ich sage das immer gerne zu den Ungläubigen und Liberalen. Ist es nicht auffallend, dass Gott Eva nur aus der Rippe des Adam und dem Staub der Erde geschaffen hat? Und zu was zerfällt der menschliche Körper nach dem Tod? Zurück zu Staub. So, he is basically arguing that because the Bible outlines how God made a man out of dust and that that's what we turn into after we die and because we always see it happening in the world around us, that the Bible must be right. This is of course pure circular reasoning. So let's start out with the demonstrably wrong stuff. When we die, we certainly don't turn to dust. After we're in the pit, our bodies are disassembled, digested, and eventually decomposed. So basically, when we die, we become a part of the soil that nurtures the next generation of plants and animals. It's a no argument that it happens. We can see it happening with eggshells, rotting meat, and autumn leaves. Everyone with a compost heap will be able to tell you that. And of course there's one other problem with this guy's argument. If we turn to dust, as the Bible says, and thus the Bible must be right, then what about this guy? And this guy? Or this guy? Or the Tolland man? So, if this guy's story were to be true, then why do all these mummies have the audacity of existing in the first place? The answer is, of course, trivial. Whatever happens to our bodies after we die has nothing to do with the contents of any holy book. Sorry, Mr. Fox, but you fail, and your ass just got served by a dead two-year-old. But, just for fun, let's trot out another gem within this documentary. And this time, the translation is the key pun. Let's listen to Richard Thompson, the attorney for the Discovery Institute, in the Kitzelmiller vs. Dover trial of 2005, giving a statement about why he and his clients are there. In America, I think that this has been a um, watershed uh, incident. This In America markiert dieser Prozess eine Zeitenwende. Egal wie es ausgeht, aufgrund der Aussagen unserer Wissenschaftler wird die Schöpfungslehre wieder in allen Schulen des Landes Einzug halten. Yeah, that's right. The German translation of the term intelligent design itself translates back into English as creationism. And just to put this into perspective, this documentary was made before the court ruling. 
in which Judge E. Jones III ruled intelligent design to not be science and just a rebranding of creationism.